Speedy Mix Peterson, the new head coach of the New York Jets. I think he took the name a little too seriously. He drafted the fastest team on offense and defense. While we have the speed to break the game open in passing plays and running plays, we quite literally lack the strength and skill to execute them properly. Let's jump into week one and see how we do. So where do I start with this team? Um, quarterbacks. Tyrod Taylor. Very athletic. I'm actually a very big fan of his. I, I love what he did in Buffalo. I mean, he brought them to the playoffs for the first time in like 17 years or something like that. So pretty amazing there. Running backs wise, we have tons of home run hitting speed, but we can't break a single tackle. There's no elusiveness and no power. I am surprised that my fullback had a 12 yard catch and run. So I was pretty amazed with that receiver wise. We're not really good route runners, and we're not good in catching in traffic situations, but we're pretty good at stretching the field, run after the catch, and occasionally a 50-50 ball, but we don't have any height either. Tight ends, Evan Ingram, extremely athletic, vertical threat, offensive line, terrible. We're good at getting to the second and third levels, but we basically get blown off the ball every time I try to run the ball. In fact, I think I averaged like two yards a carry and I got tackled in the backfield a lot. I don't even know. Ooh, I hate that animation right there. But anyways, yeah, it's offensively, we're gonna have to pass the ball. The ball is gonna have to come out quick because we can't pass protect. I'm focused training both guards in the center in an effort to get them better because they're in the 60s. At least my, I think my right tackle is a 69. Left tackle is an 82, and then I got like two 66s and a 63. So we are terrible. Defensively, we run a hybrid defense, a 4-3 and a 3-4. It's pretty cool. It's the first time I'm actually trying something like it. Basically, I'll come out in a 4-3 defense if I'm going to be running zone, and I think they're going to run the ball, and then I'll come out in a 3-4 zone defense if I want to cover three receivers, but then also potentially stop the run. So... It's pretty cool. I haven't done that in a, quite a while, but I randomly got the idea as I was doing the fantasy draft. So switching gears away from the game and onto the channel. You've probably noticed that I've posted Madden 25, Madden 18, Madden 19, Madden 21. I basically have them on a rotation right now, and I'm just gonna be rotating through each one. I'm trying to do a franchise with every single one. That way I can have something to work towards and kind of let it progress and it gives you guys gameplay that you like from Madden. It gives me something to do like training players and free agency. I am a little worried about this franchise in particularly because as you all know, you can't sort by speed in free agency when you go to sign players and that means I have to check the speed on every player manually or develop some sort of system where I can trade for certain players after the season or perhaps edit ratings. I haven't quite worked that out. Oh, this interception. I lobbed it and pressed up. So it's supposed to be a, a high lob to the receiver coming across in the middle. And instead it had no pass trajectory and got intercepted. But anyway, back to the channel. Uh, yeah, I feel doing a franchise with each of them is the best way to present you guys the, with the content. If anything changes, if maybe I don't like the way a franchise is going, I might restart and do another one, but that's the idea. Present you guys with gameplay of all the different games on my channel, and then also have something for me. And I'm also trying to post every day, but that might be a little hard to do, but just bear with me. It's gonna be at least every day or every other day. So I'm gonna have a pretty steady stream of Madden 18, 19, 25, and 21. Barely got out of here with a win, and I'm just glad to be 1-0. I'm simulating as many games as I'm playing, so you guys won't see every game. But anyway, guys, God bless you, Jesus loves you, and I will see you guys next time. Otis the Great, out.